Hey, what's up? It's Trey Leon Bay. Today we're going to talk about FSBO scripts or the best FSBO scripts. FSBO stands for For Sale by Owners, in case you didn't know. And this kind of goes hand in hand with real estate cold calling scripts, even though I do believe that uh, FSBO sellers are actually not cold calling it's more like warm leads warm calling because they have their home listed online so they're actually looking for you to call them versus if you were to call a seller who is not intending on selling their home at all and they're not giving you a call and you're just randomly picking up the phone calling homeowners then that would be more so of cold calling but this kind of goes hand in hand I know with my team we use two different types of scripts when it comes down to talking to sellers and I'll actually leave the link below so that you can have access to that and we have incoming scripts and we have outgoing seller scripts and we have two different ones because it's, it's like a total different feel when you're receiving a call from a seller after you've put out some type of mailer or if you've put out some type of um, marketing on, on uh, online or anything like that then when people have a tendency to call you after they've seen your information and they know exactly what you do it's a total different feels usually much quicker and it doesn't take a lot of time for you to be on the phone with them versus if you're giving someone a call and they're not expecting your call as much you have to gather a little bit more information and so we use that call as the outgoing call script and so with these two different phone calls um, the outgoing call script we use that a lot for cold calling because it kind of takes a it takes a different mind frame when you're actually making these outgoing calls. Because I can say that FSBS owners are warm leads, but when you're sitting down and you're about to start making a bunch of phone calls, your head and your heart is telling you that you're about to make cold calls. And sometimes people can get like sweaty palms and you can start getting nervous. Your voice can start shaking a little bit um, when it comes down to making these phone calls. And then also I think sometimes people have a negative connotation when it comes down to the word scripts. And I truly believe that if you're gonna be doing real estate and you wanna make this consistent, and you wanna be consistent and be able to have results, then I believe that you should be using a script. If you don't already have a script, you should be creating one. If you haven't created a script, you should be using someone's script who's already proven and they've done a bunch of phone calls to know exactly what to say and, and what type of reaction to receive. And with our students, we actually go through role playing. We, you know, we drill it in your head to make sure that if you're saying certain things that you're not supposed to, we want to be able to get those things out of you and then be able to have you do it right so that you can be consistent and you know what you're doing. And so with the cold calling scripts, I think one of the biggest um, advice that I can give you is really before you even pick the phone up to call a seller. You want to be able to get in a certain mind frame so that you don't be as nervous on the phone and so that you know exactly what to expect. And when you're dealing with a script, you know exactly how to control the conversation. You know exactly what's coming up next and it will make you less nervous when you're actually making these phone calls. And so the preparation before the call is super important. It's probably the most important part of you actually doing this cold call script. After that, I would suggest that you keep it short keep it short don't try to do a lot of rapport building on the phone you want to be your number one goal when you're doing a call and you're doing a call to a seller is you want to be able to book an appointment because when you're in person with someone you can build rapport you can ask more deeper questions you can find out more information build relationships and show that you're the solution and that you can provide whatever they're looking for on the phone you want to be able to keep it short and sweet get a little bit of basic things about the home about what they're looking for give them reassurance that you're serious and you're going to solve their problem and then book an appointment you know keep it real simple uh, when it comes down on the phone and so, like I said, I will leave a link below so we can give you access to our scripts if you don't already have a script already. And then other than that, guys, let me know if you have any questions, and we'll be with you next time.